What's up, everyone? I'm Tammy Harrison, and welcome to Mix Cocktail Hour, coming to you live from Awesome Town. We have a fantastic show planned for you guys today, so I say let's get to it. Please give a warm welcome to my cocktail partner, Scott Cushman! Yes. Tammy, we did it! Back again, back, back again. again. So good to be back in Awesome Town. Oh, whole two weeks again without you. I know, it's weird. How'd you do? 13 days. Withdrawal symptoms yeah. galore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But alcohol helped. Yeah, sure, I'm sure. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Got me that big today. hump right in the middle, I'm sure, was good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's pretty good, yeah? Exactly. All right, good. Hey, so I thought. Um, first off, I want to give a shout out to everybody who is tuned in with us today on the live chat. Yeah, great. Obviously, we have GM, uh, JM Garcia, we've got Sterling, we've got Danny, we've got Dixie, we've got Larry, we've got Kyle Tenders here. Kyle Tender. we got Paul. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. And all our viewers on TikTok, hop on over to YouTube Live so you can join us in the chat as well. Yeah. I thought. Yeah, good. To start Step one. things off today, uh -huh. we would have like a little bit of a history history lesson. I do love history lessons. Because normally you know how I do like national days and sometimes I yeah. do what happened on this day. Yeah, I knew. 3,000 yeah. years ago. 3,000 years ago. So I don't yeah. have that one. What I do have though is, okay, prohibition. I've heard of it, yeah. Right? 1920 to 1933. 19 to 33, yeah. Okay, so. A lot of uh, bootlegging, of course, happened. Sure. A lot of smuggling. People yeah. didn't stop drinking. They that, did not. That's, that's In fact, everyone, drinking went up. It, absolutely, because you needed to get through that there was no alcohol around. <laughs> right, so you got so the alcohol, you, of you course. You got the alcohol, yeah. right? That makes sense. Um, so things got so bad with smuggling, with speakeasies and drinking, that today in 1929, okay. the so-called dry bill was presented to Congress. Okay. Right? Sure. To harshen the penalties for people that were caught with alcohol. Yeah. And the fines were up to $500, which doesn't sound that majestic right now, but, but it was the equivalent of around $8,000. To get caught with one bottle. To get caught with any, any alcohol. alcohol yeah. Doesn't matter how much, right? So that's kind of crazy. So I wanted to dedicate my little drink sure. for us to start the show. Uh huh. To the Prohibition time. Great. And um, there was an actress mm -hmm. back in the day, yeah. in the 20s, that was the most famous silent actress of them all. I like where this story is going. I know you know. Yeah, because I do know, I know this, this story and I love it. Yes, I do know this person. This is one person. of my favorites. Yeah. Um, it's called the Mary Pickford. Yes, Tammy. Yes. So, and it's yes. so easy to make. I know you've made your own version of the Mary Pickford. I have. La Maria La Estrella. Exactly. I've made my tequila version. And yeah. I've even made that before. Yeah, it's that's delicious. True. It is good. The original Mary Pickford is made with one of the most smuggled liquors of the Prohibition time. Not whiskey, but rum. Rum. Um, so I have made the Mary Pickford for us. Oh, I love Super it. Super easy. Rum, pineapple juice, grenadine, and a couple of dashes of maraschino liqueur. Love it. Cheers. Cheers to you, Tammy. You, you, you teach me a thing or two. I do. I do. I come here every week. Cheers Down and again. Uh, yeah, let's. Cheers to prohibition that is no longer around. Yes, and never may it be again. Yes. Gross. That thing was gross. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, but that cocktail is awesome. Boom. That cocktail is awesome. Do you awesome. like that? Really, really good. Really well made. Uh, yeah, Mary Pickford, uh, super influential Absolutely. in getting rum to be not just a pirate drink, not just something drank by scallywags yeah. and. Um, and the like. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this was actually one of uh, Kennedy's favorite cocktails. Oh. Kind of crazy, right? Classy guy. Yeah, he was a rum drinker, which I think is fun. Yeah. Yeah. I bet he loved. He would have loved your tiki drinks. Uh, he might have liked my tiki drinks. Yeah, but you know, he got shot. So. I know. Yeah. I know. It's bad. It's rough. Anyway, yeah. way to yeah, okay. way to bring it down. Way to bring it down. Let's bring it back up. What a mood killer. Um, anyway, this is uh, funny, Tammy. You and I have been working together for some years now. Yeah. Years and years and years. Yep. You knew me when I was, uh, I guess I was probably this fat, but I didn't hold it as well. Not fat. I'm uh, not skinny. Uh, but I didn't have the beard. Uh, I had the glasses. I had the short. Uh, listen, I was a. I was I've a seen you in many shapes and forms. Yes. From skinny to what would be considered back in the Victorian days as a rich man. Yes, yes. Very rich. Very rich. Yes. 
For a wealthy, you know, well, yes. You know, um, I've seen the spectrum. That's the nicest way anybody's ever said that. Yeah, yeah great. Um, uh, so I thought this was interesting that since you and I have been working together for uh, for so many of my weights, yes. uh, I think that it is funny that sometimes you and I are somewhat psychic. Yes. Uh, like we are definitely like in each other's brains a mm -hmm. little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I submitted the drinks that I was going to do uh, this week to the producers. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then an hour later, you submitted this cocktail, mm -hmm. which uh, actually has my very favorite cocktail ingredients in it. Uh, and I wanted to do a whole class just based on this cocktail ingredient, yeah. and that is maraschino liqueur, a maraschino Ooh. liqueur. I knew nothing about I, I, it. Was, I did not believe thing. it. I knew nothing that you were going to do. I did not I mean, believe it. I mean, we've done a gazillion shows, yeah. drank even more cocktails. Yeah. I didn't know that you were going to do that, so I'm excited. About yes, this. this is great. So we are going to start a uh, we're going to do, we're going to do three cocktails. Yeah. Uh, using maraschino liqueur, which Love is it. uh, it's from Croatia. It was originally invented in Croatia. Uh, it's made of marasca cherries, which uh, we can't really find a ton of marasca cherries no. today, uh, just growing on trees because they're. Um, uh, Gross. They're yeah. disgusting. Oh. Uh, if you eat them by themselves, really? they're just not good to eat. Why? Uh, you know, like we, we're used to like Bing cherries, Rainier cherries. Yeah. We're like those are like that's what a cherry tastes like. These don't taste like that. I don't know why. They have a cherry tree in our one of our gardens that we had in Austria. They were yeah. called Herzkirschen. Herst. Herz. Heart. Oh, heart. Yes, the yeah. heart cherries. They're called heart cherries. They're those really big, beautiful heart shaped. And they were delicious. Cherries. Oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah. These Marasca yeah. these Marasca devil berries are awful. Oh. Uh, but what they did too is they made a great liqueur out of them. I don't know how I discovered that this was my favorite liqueur. Yeah. Uh, I just started noticing that every drink that I like, uh, that I like seek out, has this in it. Ah. Um, so why don't well, we start making some of these cocktails? Let's see if it becomes one of my favorites. Yeah. Yes, I think it might. I th now, I have no idea, because uh, you and I are, well, we're different. Uh, you with but, your pink, yet, me with yet the same. Yes, but yes, the, yet the exact same. Me also yeah. with my pink. You just can't see it. Yes. Um, we're gonna start off. So uh, uh, back in the day, yeah. when people were making cocktails, there was really only three cocktails you could order. Mm. You could order a straight whiskey cocktail or a standard whiskey cocktail. Okay. You could order a fancy whiskey cocktail, yeah. and that uh, came. Uh, that's a whiskey cocktail that just had a little bit of orange liqueur in it. Okay. Or you could order an improved whiskey cocktail, and that either had absinthe or it had maraschino liqueur. Okay. Uh, so uh, I have, uh, we're gonna start off with a basic, basic cocktail yeah. uh, called a tequila cocktail, but we are going to be doing the improved version of it. So we're just going to be adding some maraschino to it. Okay. Let us build. Do it. Let us. Uh, we're gonna be building this one, why not? Mary Pickford What's that? Oh. Yeah, of course. I still uh, have some of my Mary Pickford. Yeah, yes, I did see you. I noticed that you gave me a very small portion of such a wonderful drink. Uh, very nice. Um, we are uh, going to build this one uh, tequila. We are first going to start off, uh, why not, uh, with the Luxardo Maraschino okay. that we'll be using today. Uh, this uh, is how the bottles of Luxardo Maraschino all come. Uh, Tim, do you know what the outside of this is? You know what this straw is called? Wicca? It is called a fiasco. Oh. Okay. That is literally what it's called. Really? It is called a fiasco. So when you have a bottle like this and it's wrapped in straw, yeah, fiasco. Wow. I don't know what. I don't know if that has anything to do with the uh, what a fiasco fiasco actually is. Yeah, that's crazy. But this is a fiasco. I, I, too many drinks on a Saturday night. That's fiasco. A fiasco. Yeah. Suddenly I'm wrapped in twine yes. and there. I don't know how I got exactly. there. Exactly. Tinted green. Oh, we're just gonna be going ahead and put. Uh, put we're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and put in one quarter of an ounce of that guy. Beautiful. Quick right shout there. out uh, to Jen, who's in the house. Cynthia, Joey, and Brandon is in here as well. And of course, Matt's here too. So, what's up, everybody? There we go. Oh, Hi, Carry on. Uh, uh, next, we uh, have to start to build the actual uh, cocktail yeah. itself. Uh, cocktails have three ingredients. They have a bitters, they have a booze, and they have uh, a sweetener. Mm -hmm. uh, start off with a sweetener over here first. Uh, since this is tequila, why not uh, go with agave syrup? We're gonna be putting in half like of an ounce. I that better than, than honey and simple syrup. You know, and it goes so much better with tequila yeah. uh, because they are uh, from the same uh, plant, mm -hmm. from the agave plant, which isn't a cactus. Mm. Do you know what it is? It is a fern. Uh, it's a fern. Is it? It's a fern. Really? Yeah, the agave is a type of fern, ha. crazy enough. Who knew? I did. 
<laughs> Turns out I Far knew that. From you. Yeah, well, I knew that. No one. And so there's probably some uh, Mexican dudes that yeah, totally know two that. Two more people know. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> and the 20 people that are watching. Yes. Uh, uh, next thing we want to put in is we want to put some bittering agent into this guy. Yeah. Uh, now we can of course just go ahead and grab for our ang uh, our aromatic, the Angostura, the Peixad. Uh, but I wanted to go with something a little different. I have these guys down did you bring here. Bring your little tiny bottles. I in did. I brought did? in my tiny little bottles. <laughs> this is a tiny little bottle of uh, homemade uh, chocolate bitters. I feel like uh, we start talking about like Mexican chocolates uh, and that. I feel like this goes really well in this cocktail. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be taking three of these. Now, if you cannot find uh, a way to make this stuff uh, or do not have the three months that I just had. You need three uh, months to make chocolate bitters? To make any kind of bitters. That You're looking much? for about three months. Uh, no, no, I have, a much, I have much larger bottles wow. at the house. Uh, if you don't have that time, uh, there is a great company uh, that does make them, Aztec. Uh, chocolate bitters. Uh, the, the, the the company is called Fees, uh, but okay. uh, they make a great Aztec chocolate bitter. Uh, very nice stuff. Is it white chocolate? No, uh, and honestly, was thinking about doing some white chocolate bitters next because I know you liked it so much. Uh, we have this uh, ready to go uh, in here, but of course, we do need a tequila. Yeah, well, yeah. That's of course. So, uh, tequila we're going to be using today is going to be Angelisco. And I find uh, it interesting, you kind of built it sort of backwards. Well, I built it a uh, cheapest ingredient first, yeah. except I wanted to start off with the maraschino. So it really uh, should have been honey, or should have been uh, the agave, agave, the bitters, then the maris uh, the, the, okay. the the maraschino, Does it then matter the which sequence you use? No, okay. no, not for this know. one. There might be some secret to this. I've got no, idea. no, 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 not for this know. one. It doesn't, there are some where it is, it does matter a little bit, but yeah. I just try and build least expensive first. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and put in two full ounces of this delicious Angelisco uh, Reposado tequila. We want something that has a little wood mm. in it, so it does remind us still of that old fashioned yeah. uh, that, we, uh, that we love so much that this is based on the whiskey cocktail, the old fashioned whiskey cocktail. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we have it. That's it? This is it. This is the entire cocktail. There is no, uh, this is I think one of the very first cocktails I've done on here that doesn't have any fruit uh, juice in it. Uh, yeah. It's not sweet. Uh, it's just sort of well-rounded and interesting. I hope you dig it, Tammy. Uh, let's go oh. ahead and give this a stir. I hope so too. Me too. I really, I could not take the heartbreak of you hating one of my cocktails. And I'll let you know. Yeah, <laughs> I know you will. You have before. I will tell yeah. you. Yeah, I don't know how I got over it. We well, oh. haven't. I haven't, no. How. No, I just got fat again. I guess that's how that <laughs> oh, happened. That's just what happened. I grew the beard out, Ugh. covered up my teardrop tattoo. Oh, so you gotta cool it down quite a bit then. Yeah, so we wanna definitely give this some water. Uh, I feel like this cocktail definitely can use a little touch extra water, touch extra cool, uh, coldness, uh, because we are gonna be serving this one up off the bar in something that looks like this. This okay. is called a coupe. This is not, oh, what do I do with it? Oh, this is not a Marie Antoinette, which I am so fond of, although it does have uh, the nipple down there. Yeah, it does kind of. It does. Looks there like is a it. nipple, uh, but Marie Antoinette's breasts were much better shaped. How the hell do I know that? <laughs> so that is not oh, something I actually know. know. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that is not something I know. Oh, well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, pour this guy into here. We do oh, have okay. to give it a just a touch of a garnish. You could be fooled into thinking that's an old fashioned. You could be. It looks very old fashioned esque. Yeah. Uh, but we do want to give this just a little bit of a lemon twist. So we're going to take our um, channel knife and give that probably a twist and a half right on top. Always twist your garnishes or always cut your garnishes above the cocktail mm -hmm. so that uh, all those oils get into it. And look at that. I think that is my very first wow. aromatic I have ever made on this show. And uh, we've been doing this good. for months and months now. Uh, go ahead and grab that, Tam, and let Let's me know. Let's see. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Cheers to you. What was this called again? This is called the Improved Tequila. Mm. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, you can get right really behind it. I didn't think I was. Yep. Go I'm ahead. always nervous about that mm. cocktail. I think you... Oh, the chocolate comes on the back end. Yeah. Mm. Chocolate comes through. You get that like Mexican chocolate, that spicy chocolate, yeah. the agave, the tequila crash into each other. It takes a and minute. It takes a minute. That maraschino is really the, it's really mm. holding its own uh, in there as the, re, as like the big, odd sweetening agent that brings everything together. This tastes like a, like a piece of cake. Yeah. 
This is delicious. Yeah, I think so too. I'm surprised. Yeah, one of my favorites. I went in here thinking, oh, this is gonna be shit. Yes, well, because that's what you say to me every time I walk maybe, in the building. Maybe. Like, your drinks are gonna be shit. Today, your drinks moment are gonna be shit. The moment I walk shit. in, it's gonna be shit what today. What shitty cocktails are you gonna make today? <laughs> Sit down. Scott's We're having a meeting. Today's gonna be shit. This is great. It smells it's great. A bad, it tastes bad work really environment. Good. Delicious. Yeah. I like it. Nailed it. Nailed All right, good. It. Now that is, of course, not my cocktail. I did not invent that cocktail, but uh, I did uh, execute it well, stuffed that landing. Um, definitely one of my favorites, and a I good use it. of Luxardo maraschino, or any maraschino that you well, can it's find. It's very balanced, because not one ingredient is is on the, on the front burner. Right. It's it's very even, yeah. which, which I like, because I yeah. don't like it sometimes when you have tequila cocktails yeah. as well. That it's too. It's too much. Tequilery. Yeah, tequilery. 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 That's a word, right? That just just now. Yeah. It just became one. Tequilery. Yeah. Said uh, for the quick first time. Quick shout out uh, to my dad who's tuned in, which means my mom is tuned in as hey. well. Hey. Hey, daddy. Hey, mama. Uh, then we also have um, Joey. We've got Reed, of course, with, um, and Sterling is here, of course, uh, as well. So yay, everybody's here. Right, drink number two. Let's drink number two. Dos. Yeah, dos. Uh, this next one is a drink of my own creation. <gasps> I wanted to find something, so when, uh, uh, Tammy knows this, but uh, maybe other people don't, uh, before uh, the whole quarantine, the whole lockdown, I used to teach classes live in bars. Yeah. Uh, I taught them five nights a week for about seven years. Wow, uh, Which is a long, a week. five times a week. Wow. Yeah, uh, four different, or three different bars, five nights a week, uh, uh, and, uh, I would, uh, I had a rule, I had a bunch of rules that people would start to learn in the class. Uh, one of them is never use more than half of an ounce of maraschino liqueur. Just never do it. Really? It's just, it, okay. it's so strong and it takes over. It's almost like grenadine and it kind of like don't use Yes, if you use too much of it, you're just gonna sort of lose the rest of the cocktail. Yeah. I have decided to break that rule today in oh. creating a cocktail. I'm going to make a cocktail that has three quarters of an ounce. It's only going up by a quarter, but that's a lot, in my opinion. Okay, I know there's gonna be a reason for it. Uh, yes, as we taste it, as we like get into it, we will start to see like what that uh, what yeah. that flavor no, is. I can see you at home with the lab coat, the gold. It's... There's like smoke everywhere and you're testing out your drinks. Yes. And there's something. I don't know what it is, that and then is you thought, it cannot be. Yes. It cannot be the maraschino uh, liqueur. Uh, switch out lab coat for open robe, and you are correct. That is what it is <laughs> for open robe and heart boxers, okay. and you have nailed what my house looks like. <laughs> so, uh, right. yes, other than that, it definitely is that. Just me. Yeah. Shut the window, you jerk. Yeah. About to be thrown out of Reseda. <laughs> uh, so we have this right here. Uh, this is going to be called the Rose Blossom for some reason uh -huh. with a Z. I don't know why I did that. R-O-Z-E. Well, just put the blossoms, put a Z at the end of blossom okay. too. Why not? All right. uh, I'm not great at naming why cocktails, not? apparently. Uh, it was actually a typo that I sent to the producers, <laughs> and so now it's the road. Hey, Oops. that's how things happen. That is how that's things how happen. That's how happens. Uh, it was not. No, that was totally my bad. No idea what the Z is doing in there. Well, let's build, let's build. Uh, we are going to split our base in this cocktail, Tammy. We're going to split it technically three ways. Okay. Uh, three ways. The three ways we're gonna start off with, uh, we're gonna go over here. We're gonna grab some uh, dry gin. This is actually a uh, Los Angelino oh. dry gin. This is a Mulholland gin, nice. Mulholland gin. Uh, we're gonna put in sort of an odd uh, number uh, for this. Uh, most bartenders uh, sort of roll their eyes when they see 1.25 ounces of something, but uh, as a tiki bartender, I just know that that means a tiki board. So we're just gonna True. be putting in yeah. just a touch more than an ounce. Mm -hmm. We're looking for an ounce and a quarter of the gin. We want to round that gin out by bringing something sort of sweet and uh, bright to this, uh, and that is going to come in the form of Calvatos. Was that Calvatos, this is actually a, an apple brandy. Oh yeah, that's yeah. right, I uh, love this stuff. Yeah, uh, the producers were not crazy I was using this. It is kind of expensive. So uh, we're only gonna be putting in three quarters of an ounce, not because I'm trying to save any money or anything, uh, but because that's all it needs. Yeah. That's all it needs. Yeah. Uh, right there. Uh, yeah, I did spill a little bit. Yeah, there was a lot. You there spill was about six dollars worth. There was the bar, gasps Scott. as that dropped. I was talking. Oh. I shouldn't have been doing that. Oh, no. 
Uh, next ingredient uh, that we have right here is, of course, of course, the fiasco. The fiasco, <laughs> the, the green bottle fiasco, yeah. the Luxardo maraschino, three quarters of an ounce. I know uh, Paul uh, is at home watching. Yeah. Uh, Paul has taken a number of my classes, and Paul is probably very nervous that I'm breaking my own rule. Five, yeah. a half an ounce of Luxardo Maraschino. This is, this is like Cobra Kai. It's with, in their three rules and they're getting broken. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And I am strike Johnny first, Lawrence. Strike hard, no mercy. No mercy. And you're like, Hashtag no, no, mercy. More, no mercy. No mercy. We are done with mercy. We're done with it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, right now, if you guys were to put your nose right after this, you would definitely smell trees. There's some Tannenbaum in there, yeah. some, uh, there is uh, apple, yeah. uh, and then there's cherry. Cherries. All kinds of like deliciousness sort of uh, emanating through this. So yeah. uh, next thing we have to put in here is going uh, to be some lemon juice. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're going to slice this lemon. I have this. I'll take this one. Oh, you got that one. We're gonna slice this lemon right in half, and we're going to put the juice of half of a lemon uh, right into this cocktail, okay. just to brighten it up uh, more than anything. We just yeah. want that to be sort of bright. About half an ounce is all we're looking for there. Paul says, well, at least there's no vodka. At least there's no vodka. Yes, I did do that for Paul. Yes. What is it, was, because only psychopaths drink vodka? Yes, uh, yes, only psychopaths drink one vodka. Choice. Yes, well, Tammy? Oh, makes sense, okay. Yes, yep. there we all go. Right, carry on. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever called me? No, <laughs> only think of yourself. Uh, so we have uh, this uh, built right here. Uh, next two things we have to add, we wanna make this into a rose sort of flavored. Mm -hmm. So we wanna start off by adding uh, two dashes of Peychaud's bitters. Mm -hmm. Adds just a little bit of pink to it, sort of rounds out uh, the cocktail. One, two, three. Sort of newer bottles, we just need to touch more. You really, if you have droppers, always better. Droppers are a little bit more precise. Okay. We don't have droppers. We spent all of our money well, on Calvados. Your little thingy does. Your chocolate. I do. Yes. No. I, these are these are from home. Does. This is how I do my at home. Okay. Uh, this is awesome town. I do not True. live here. Uh, next thing we have to add is going to be this guy right here, rose water. Nice. Rose water. So we're gonna uh, give this a big rose feel. Now this is a full bottle as well. So uh, That's full great bottles. For your skin too. What's that? That's great for your skin too. It is, if you put rose water in, just if you dilute it into, yep. into water, you can have a really fantastic oh, I imagine. face spray. Yeah. Just saying. Do I, yeah, I have no Hashtag. idea. <laughs> I grew a beard so that I don't have to even worry about that. You can put it in your beard too. Uh, we're gonna be putting in two big dashes, or if you have a fuller bottle, a four or five small dashes. And then uh, we smell that. It smells so much like walking through a rose garden. Yeah. Uh, it is crazy. Uh, let's uh, stir this one. I'm oh, sorry, we're gonna shake this one just a touch. We don't need a big shake. Get this out of here. We don't need a big shake on this one. We do not need to like break up anything. Okay. We just wanna open it up. A bit. Oh, we, is that it? <clears throat> that's it. That's all. Yeah, couldn't even get ready for my. No, sorry. You want one more time? Ready? No, no, no. This is sad. What a sad little day. Uh, we are going to be pouring this uh, over one large clear piece of ice. Uh, since we have shaken, uh, we will use our Hawthorne strainer uh, into here. And look at how beautiful and pretty and pink Ooh, that nice. cocktail yeah. comes out. That comes from uh, the taste shots. Uh, and some of the rose water, some of the um, Calvados, giving it a little deeper flavor. Yeah. But we do have to, uh, of course, garnish this. Uh, now I have run out of lemons. Uh, so we're gonna use a, a grapefruit instead. We're gonna take uh, a fruit peeler, and we're going to peel this right above our cocktail. We're gonna try and go around this grapefruit as many times as we can uh -huh. with this in order to make a rose garnish. Now, what does that mean, Tammy? Rolling up the piece. We're gonna roll up the piece, peel. that's exactly right. We're gonna roll this guy up, and suddenly we have built a rosebud. We have a little rosebud. We are going to take a... Oh, a sticker? Sticker. <laughs> a little call back from, from an earlier episode. We're gonna take a sticker or a tooth Yes. I believe it's yes. called a toothpick. Commonly, no, it's commonly known in the As world as a toothpick. Tooth yes. Weird. Yes. Sticker. A sticker. The Cushman uh, household calls yes. it a sticker. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw this in here, and just for good measure, Tammy, we're going to take two rose petals. 
off of a small rose. We are going to float these on the opposite side right in here and we have it. We have the rose with a Z blossom. <laughs> The rose. The rose. Blossom. Go ahead and give that a chance. I mean, it's a Give it a chance. That. That's pretty. Yeah, nice cocktail. Uh, yeah, that's a, that orange, or that's a grapefruit. It should, it should mm. change the scent that of it just a touch. Outfit. It does, actually. It's I was perfect. really excited when you saw, when you came in wearing all the pink. Yeah. Yeah. Smells great. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to you. Let's see what kind of stuff you come up with. Hey, not too bad, huh? That's refreshing. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. 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 I like this. Thank you. You can. I like it. Are you getting all the different trees? You're yeah. sort of feeling the it gin, is. the apple. Uh, it is. You're getting. You're smelling this, this the cherry. beautiful rose blossom yeah. garden. But there's some apple trees in there. Yeah. There's some cherry trees in there. That's what I was going for, Tim. Well that done. is what I was going for. See. Yeah. You're experimenting at home when you're in your bathroom. <laughs> Just throw it um, back and get to it. Yeah, this is great. Thank you. Mm. This will be good on a hot summer day somewhere. Yeah. You've got your friends over, have a pool party going on or something. It also looks a little bit like uh, like rosé. It does. So like, yeah. if you were like, oh, my friends are boring, I want to put something harder into my rosé glass, yeah. this is perfect. Oh, this is great. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Rose mm -hmm. Rosa. Uh, Matt says, I would pay to know if Tammy got hair extensions or not. Why would you Girls pay to do? No, I'm mean, not gonna take my hat off right now. But no, this is this is all. all That's me. the stuff, guys. All That's me. the stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, great drink, rose Thank blossom. You. The yum, rose yum. blossom. Mm -hmm. With a Z. With a Z. <laughs> for no reason. Love it. Reason with a Z too, for some reason. And uh, shout out also to Betty as well to England. England is tuned in. Nice. So. Yay. nice. I'm ready for drink number three. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, what's that? Oh, let's do, yeah, uh, we also have some coasters That's to give away. Right. Uh, Perfect time. Yes, people that know me, uh, I will be getting your coasters to you ASAP. Paul, I believe the Apostle Reed has won uh, some coasters. Uh, we'll be getting those okay. to you. Huh? I don't know that person, so yeah. I will not be getting you yours, Tomoko. I will give them to her. Okay, great. Uh, I believe she lives on my street. Good, great. Um, mixed coasters. We are giving some coasters away again. We need to think of something uh, fun. Oh, our producer is trying to secretly tell me something that is What's not. What's different this week? What? Oh yes. What? Oh. Oh yes. What have we changed? What have? Yes, that's a great question. Here's yeah. the question. What have we changed? What is different that you might see? Might be big. Might be small. What What's different? Is different uh, from all the other episodes. Yep. Let's see what let's see what happens. <gasps> Kyle Tender. Kyle Tender. Oh, oh, I know where Kyle Tender lives. Oh, Kyle, Kyle Tender. Kyle Tender lives. Oh, and Jen was a was a it was a close second. Close second. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, Kyle Tender. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Kyle Tender is my own personal barback. Yep. He comes over once a week on Saturdays, yep. seven o'clock. YouTube.com/slash Kush Tender, where I also teach classes. But if Kyle Tender won those, uh, I will give them to him tomorrow. Congratulations, <laughs> Kyle is, Tender. Congratulations. It is the sign. We changed the sign. We changed the sign. Yes, we are no longer mixed live. We are now mixed cocktail hour. Mixed cocktail yep. hour all the time of the all day. All the time. Anytime you want. Anytime you want. Yep. We are mixed cocktail hour. So well done, Carl Tender. Well done, Jen. So sorry. For either laughing faces or crying faces. I yeah, can't we tell. can't tell. We can't tell. Oh, yeah. Um, that's good that they both knew it. Yeah, that's yeah, fantastic. It's weird. it's weird that they both knew it. Drink number uh, Drink number three, yes. Tammy. This is this is uh, shameless. This is shameless. Uh, this is my very favorite cocktail. My number one I favorite cocktail. I think I've heard cocktail. you say that yes. multiple times. Like, uh, about I, I don't think that I have said it about any drink other than this one. Uh, this is a cocktail that uh, is named after one of my favorite people to ever walk this planet. Don Beach. Ernest Hemingway. Oh. Of course, Ernest Hemingway. Uh, during the time that Ernest uh, had left the United States yeah. uh, and was living in Cuba, yeah. uh, he was uh, one day walking past a little bar 
called La Floridita. Uh, inside, there was a man named Constantino Ribialagua yeah. Vert, El Rey de los Cacatales in Cuba. Before this whole split between the states, uh, Cuba was a huge place where cocktails were going. Anyway, yeah. uh, uh, her Hemingway was drunk and had to pee. As the story goes, okay. really had to pee, yeah. and he saw that there was a bathroom inside La Floridita, walked past Constantino doing his thing. He had about 40 different daiquiris mm -hmm. uh, up on the bar, uh, went in, uh, peed, came back out and said, what are you doing? And uh, Constantino said, uh, Mr. Hemingway, try one of these. He tried it, he said he liked it, he said he wanted double the booze, and he of wanted course. none of the sugar. Uh, uh, a couple oh, reasons, okay. first of all, Papa uh, was a big drinker. Uh, and also diabetic, so he just wanted Ooh. booze in his cocktail. Yeah, anyway, uh, the original Hemingway daiquiri, which is four ounces of uh, vod, or four ounces of rum, and just a splash of uh, lime juice, uh -huh. never really took off. It's gross. With the alcoholics, it did. Yeah, I mean, with like if you want to do a four ounce shot of chilled yeah. rum with lime, yeah. great. That is not really a cocktail. Uh, on that uh, menu, though, the La Floridita numero uh, numero cuatro, uh -huh. cuatro. Uh -huh. I was gonna try and do the accent, and then I felt like an numero idiot. Cuatro. Numero cuatro. Numero yeah. um, uh, That one uh, did have stuff that Hemingway liked in, so he did try these cocktails every once in a while. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a grapefruit, and instead of the sugar, he used the 34% uh, uh, ABV uh, maraschino liqueur oh. to make his cocktail. So eventually, this be called the Hem it became uh, known as the Hemingway Special. But you could also order it in the way we're gonna make it today. Which is the original. Which is the which is sort of the what? original. Oh, no. Which is the Papa <laughs> Doble, which is of course four ounces of wow. rum and then the rest of it. So let's begin. Of course, if we're going to be making it in anything, Did why you? not why not make it in Hemingway's head? Oh wow. Look at that. This is my Hemingway tiki mug. I do have one. I'm trying to think because um, did Hemingway live or have a house in Key West? He did, Florida? yes. Then I've been there. Yes. Tons of cats everywhere. Like the uh, six toes. Yeah. They all oh, have six. Oh, I don't know. They're so famously, he had six toed cats. Oh, really? He had oh, one tomcat. I was, it was a long time ago. It must be at least uh, 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, you think they've lost, uh, think they've lost that toe since then? No, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. I can't remember. But um, yeah, I went to Hemingway's house in, in Key West, in yep. Florida. Yeah, famously had one Beautiful. tomcat that would go out and do his tomcat thing, and that cat had six toes, and suddenly all the all the little kittens had six toes. Aww. That cat, well, is that aw? Or is that aw? It's a cat. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, cat sex is cute sex, I guess. Um, uh, we are going to be making the uh, Papa Doble, okay. uh, and let's begin. We are going to start off with four ounces of a light rum. Now you can do Cuban, uh, but I just saw that we did have this up here today. Uh, so I will be doing uh, the Plantation, which is a Jamaican white, because I will probably be spitting, uh, splitting this cocktail with you. Uh, we're going to be doing four full ounces of whatever white rum you can get your hands on. Four full ounces. So that is, that is uh, two drinks right in a row, ready to go for Mr. Hemingway. Uh, next thing we wanna grab is going to be uh, this guy right here. This is grapefruit juice, uh, just regular old uh, grapefruit juice that you yeah. can find three quarters of an ounce only. Okay. An easy three quarters. Oh, Reed Landers asks, where hasn't Tammy been? No, Tammy's been everywhere. I have two things to say to this. Yes. One. There aren't that many places I haven't been. And two, yeah. spell my name right. It's T A M double E. Do not yell not at the T -A -M -I. Apostle Tiki. I will I will defend the Apostle Tiki. You oh. have your the the way you spell your name is odd. Uh, now, of course, read next time. Yes. Uh, I will then defend Tammy. I mean, Just spell come it right. on. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Reed. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and squeeze in the juice of half of a lime. We're looking for about Half of an ounce, that was sort of a dry lime, so looking okay. for half of an ounce of a lime. Uh, right there, uh, we then want to add a half of an ounce of Luxardo Maraschino. Yes. This would have been so good for Hemingway. 32% alcohol, yeah. but with the same sweetness yeah. as sugar. Yeah. So he's getting drunk on all the sugar he's drinking. Yeah. He's not worrying about extra sugar. Yeah. Spectacular, he brilliant He kept all guy. his limbs, his diabetes didn't get any worse. Well, he didn't keep his head. Oh. That was the one limb he did lose. Okay. Yeah. 
Well, famously shot himself in the, in the head. Well, that came yeah. later. Well, he probably, yeah, so, he probably ran out yeah, of alcohol. But we know what we're, we know what we're talking we, about. He ran out of alcohol. Yeah, yeah, well, that's right. tough. Anyway, it's, withdrawals are the worst. That was a different yeah. day. Anybody who's ever had the DTs knows, <laughs> yeah, I'd rather yeah. shoot myself. Uh, <laughs> we are then going to, in just, uh, why not? We're gonna put in a splash of simple syrup. Uh, not necessary, but it is, it does sort of round the drink out uh, really well. Okay. We're gonna give this a big, fat shake. We can put a lot of ice in here because this is a very thick cocktail. Okay. We can let this spread and uh, and sit for a while. So we will shake for a while. Everybody ready? I know this is what most people tune in for. This is the Tammy shake. One, two, nice. three. Lovely. Uh, Hemingway would not have had time to sit around and wait uh, for his cocktail to uh, be sort of filtered out. We're gonna add just a touch more ice in here. He would not have waited for any kind of filtering, so we're just going to pump and dump this into, uh, that ironically, is your mug, right? the you, that this is, is this is my mug. Your private mug. This is my private mug from my private house, yeah. Uh, it is unfortunate that the hole is in the back of his head. That's probably not a great place to put a Hemingway mug. <laughs> I always thought that was odd, uh, but that is where it is. Um, and I did want to do a quick homage to one of my top three favorite Hemingway novels, okay. uh, The Old Man and the Sea. So I did, uh, of course, uh, create a small little, oh, my fish fell off. One sec, there we go. Fish? Yeah. You know the, you know the story of The Old Man and the Sea? Of course. It's about Santiago who goes out on his little boat uh -huh. and catches a fish that gets eaten by a shark. Okay. And this is the garnish that goes on here. It is the old man and the I mean, sea that's amazing. Look at that. garnish. Look at that. Right there, that's Santiago, that's his little boat, that's the fish that gets eaten by a shark. Look how big it is. It's got a little sun hat on. So he does have a little sun hat. Yes, I thought that was nice, thank right. you. Round of applause. And it Look lives that. inside of the hole <laughs> in Hemingway's head. Uh, that is how that goes. Uh, Tammy, I am going to split this cocktail with yes, you. You don't mind passing please. me. What do you uh, need? Just a bucket would be great. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to pour some of this out for you. I'm going to drink from the a weird hole, and then, then you can. I'll stick a straw in there. Yeah, yeah. Thank so you. Do you want a straw? Yes, too, please. Or not? Yes, I'd love a straw. Oh, you're taking the head? Of course I'm taking the head. It's my head. Yes, yeah, sorry. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Can I have a straw, please? And then we will drink. Thank you okay. very much, Tammy. What is it? The Papa Papa don't preach? Or the Papa it? Doble. The Papa Doble. The okay. double uh, uh, Papa. Uh, Hemingway's name uh, was Papa Papa Hemingway. That's his nickname. Uh, and so this is the double Hemingway. The double Papa. Every bartender that has ever worked for wow. me, uh, when I walk into the bar, uh, they will know that I am looking for this cocktail. Mm. Usually the single version. It's yummy though. It is yummy. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll get you there. Yeah, oh, it'll definitely get you there. You yeah, it's it is uh it is uh, as we say thick. It is thick. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I cannot imagine having like if that, if that was the full drink. Yeah. It's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. But Hemingway didn't want to put any of the maraschino, any of the any of the uh, grapefruit. He just wanted the he wanted four ounces of rum with a splash of lime, yeah. so that he could. Uh, he, he was famous for uh, a right drunk, edit sober. He would write into the night. He would wake up and edit everything he did that night, uh, and then he would spend the day at Constantino's. A place, La Florida. Well, you become different personalities too, though. You kind of grasp into different areas of your brain. So yeah, you can I imagine think that's probably true. The weird stuff that comes out when he has been drinking. Yeah. Of course, then sober him mm -hmm. looks at that like, what the hell is yeah. this? What, what are oh, these lions? That's actually pretty mean? good. Yeah. No, that's actually that's not bad. Yeah. I would never would have thought of that. Yep. Out come the books. Yeah, that's it. I mean, Pumping them out. Crazy, but but cool. Crazy but cool. Mm. Yum. Mm. I like it. Yeah, me too. God, does that make us alcohol hits? It does. Yeah, sorry, Tammy. We have been doing this show for a long time. We've drank a lot of drinks. Uh, okay, hold on. Let's do a little... Yeah, a little retrospective. A little recap situation. Yeah. Okay. So, we have the... Improved, improved tequila. Improved tequila. Yeah. Rose. The rose blossom with a Z. Yes. And and then the Papa Doble. The Papa Doble, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, this is it's great, but it's a, a little on the on the strong yeah. side. 
It's, it's a, it's a mix-up between these two. I don't know what to tell you. I think they're, I mean, I wanna go, it makes me, it makes me look like I'm only picking your drinks whenever I- but, uh, Two weeks ago you didn't. You, two weeks ago you didn't. I so, didn't? No, you didn't. No, no, you oh, picked, you picked okay, one that I wasn't mine. I don't want people thinking like- No, oh, no, 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 you did drink. pick one that wasn't mine. I did, I did break my streak two weeks ago. Rose Blossom. Yes, yes, sorry, I'm back on a streak. Very one close, one, baby, one second. one. Second. Yeah. Very close second though. Nice, I'll take it. I'll take it. Cheers. Cheers yeah. to you, Tammy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that was fun. It was fun having you back again. Always a good time. Always a good time. And I'll be yeah. back next week, too. Bands back together. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Yep. I, I had um, a lot of fun. Yeah, me too. Uh, I think we're going to sip on these drinks. Yeah. They kind of yeah. all fit together. Too. They do. They're like, sort of a... I think it's because of the maraschino. That's, so that's what, dry, that's what I found. I really like that flavor. Yeah. And so it does sort of make all the drinks that I can find a way to squeeze it into. Yeah. I do. It turns out it's like uh, it's like you know I like I like potatoes uh, with butter. I like uh, I like uh, cauliflower with butter. Turns out I like butter. Yeah, butter is butter. my favorite food. Yeah. That's what this is. It turns out that I just like butter. Uh -huh. That's what maraschino is to me. Maraschino is my butter. Yeah, they yeah. all fit together. You yeah. can definitely. I'm gonna sip on these back to front. Great, I love it. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. We had such a blast. We'll be back again, hopefully with more little Fisher. So, I mean, I mean that's amazing. Let's let's be honest. Yeah. Let's have another quick look at that. Yeah, shall right. We? Hemingway with his sun hat. But uh, Santiago, yeah, oh, sorry, Santiago, Santiago, with his, yeah, Santiago with his sun, with his sun hat, hat. Uh, in a cell, and, and he look, has caught a. Um, he can dance. And he can dance. <laughs> <laughs> and it does kind of look like he caught one of the Pac-Man ghosts. <laughs> But I'm not great with fish, apparently. That's great. Well done. Do, do, I like that a lot. Do, 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 do. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We will be back again next Friday. I'm Tammy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Until then, cheerio, everybody.